hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we will discuss about domain and range of a piecewise function what is piecewise function a function that breaks is called a piecewise function there are some function which breaks we will take some example okay uh, the function which breaks is called a piecewise function we will take an example of a piecewise function let's suppose we have a function in terms of f of x here x plus 1 the condition for x plus 1 is x less than 3 and then 2x plus 1 which is uh, 3 I would say less or equals to x okay we have to find domain and range of this function you can also write this condition is x greater or equals to 3 okay what about domain domain of a function okay let's suppose again considering a real line 0 I would say 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay this is 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 this is up to negative infinity and this will up to positive infinity okay sorry sorry this is 1, 2 and 3. Okay. While finding domain and range, this is the first part. x plus 1 condition is x less than 3. x less than 3. This is strictly less. Strictly less means that there is no an equality involved. Okay. This is, you can say, strictly less. Okay, strictly less means that we will not include 3. We will not include 3. So, this is whole. Whole means that 3 will not be included. From 3 up to negative infinity. Look at this. X less than 3 means we have to move from 3 and lesser values. And 3 will not be included. This whole represents that the, this value is not included. Okay, what about, so this is the first up to 3. Clear? I used open interval because 3 is not included. Because 3 is not included. Now, what about this second portion x less or equal x greater or equals to 3 means 3 is included this is dot 3 is included that's why i put it dot and here 3 is not included that's why i put whole okay so moving from 3 to bigger values because x is greater greater or equal to 3 so we will move towards positive infinity union here 3 is included up to positive infinity as we are not sure about infinity so we always put open interval while using infinity okay so as there is union here 3 is not included and here 3 is included so we can also write it as negative infinity to positive infinity okay what about the range range of a function will be okay at x is equals to 3 if i put x is equals to 3 over here at if i put x is equals to 3 so it will be 3 plus 1 it will be 
3 plus 1, 4. Now, as I am moving towards negative infinity, the lesser will be 2 plus 1, 3, 1 plus 1, means I am moving towards here. 3, 2, 1, 0, up to so on. Clear? So, it will be 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. While putting all these values up to negative infinity, at 3, it will become 3 plus 1, 4. Okay? And moving towards here, sorry, moving towards here, it will move up to negative infinity. So, I will also use open interval over here because this 3 is not included. I used open interval union again union. What about this portion? Putting this 3 over here 3 times 2 6 plus 7. This 7 is included. This 7 is included. Okay. Because here it is equality not strictly less. Clear? Okay. From 7 to as it is moving towards positive infinity, moving towards positive infinity. So, this will be the range of this piecewise function. Thank you.